Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Tuesday, the 10th day of January, 2023, Tuesday of the first week of the year, the first week in ordinary time. Uh, descending from the heights of Christmas all this week, yesterday concluding Christmas with the feast of the baptism of the Lord, uh, we now return uh, to the wonder and glory of winter ordinary time, which will take us to February 22nd, uh, which is that Wednesday that is Ash Wednesday. Today in Carolina, though it is cold, there is frost on the ground here, although it's going to be 50 uh, later on today. Uh, but at least it's a nice, uh, wonderful, uh, cool morning. It is morning drop-off here at our school, the Franciscan School, um, and everybody is getting ready to come to another day, the second week uh, that we are here um, in school, uh, this beginning in 2023. Um, the great rock that stands in front of our school, however, is, de uh, is decorated with uh, Bill's insignia, Buffalo Bill's insignia, in honor of uh, DeMar Hamlin, uh, number three. Um, again, it shows that even in uh, the, southern, the southernmost points of the United States, States, or one of the southernmost points of the United States in North Carolina, uh, we still have great Bills fans here. Um, and even in this land of the Carolina Panthers, um, a land where it does not snow, a land where it rarely gets ice, uh, that still uh, there's there's great uh, Buffalo spirit here um, and in praying uh, for DeMar Hamlin here with our great rock. Um, so today's readings, we go to the uh, letter to the Hebrews, uh, in which we have a great echo of Christmas uh, in the sense of what Christ did in becoming one like us is to make us brothers and sisters. Um, with him uh, in the sight of God, um, and that God having made humanity little less than the angels, um, and then exalted this in Christ, again, shows our standing and our bearing as uh, as creations of God, again, as that image and likeness of God. We are not created uh, for nothing. We are not created to uh, be, be people who live in fear or live in oppression or live under great burdens. Uh, we are created little less than the angels, and so thereby contain a glory within us, that a glory that is wonderful, a glory that is beautiful, a glory that should shine to all the nations of what the hope and glory of being human is. Um, in the gospel today, uh, Jesus, uh, we get it from Mark, um, and so immediately after Jesus' baptism, uh, he is in the, city, the town of Capernaum out in Galilee, and he is teaching in the synagogue, and already he is confronted with a demon who basically says, what do you want to do with us? Uh, what do you want to do with us? Um, um, and, uh, and, and basically, Jesus basically rebukes the demon, tells him to be quiet and come out. So immediately, um, Jesus' ministry begins with this sort of supernatural encounter, you know, with someone who's telling him to be quiet, to shut up. Um, and like many ways today, we try to silence Christ. We try to silence what it is that we are supposed to be and supposed to do as believers in this world. Uh, but yet we cannot. We cannot be silent. Um, and it is uh, Christ who silences everything that would stand in the way of us being able to proclaim uh, the truth and wonder of what it means to be be people of faith, people of hope, people of love, uh, people of the gospel uh, in the world in which we live. A blessed day for you, uh, St. Francis and people of God. May the Lord give you his peace.